So I came up here to the Adirondacks yesterday for a day of brook trout fishing with some buddies. <sighs> black flies. And uh, yeah, the black flies are really bad. Middle of the lake, I still got a few chasing me, but the clouds are in the woods. I say that now, I just got bit on my hand. Awesome. And uh, so yesterday was brook trout fishing on a stream. Caught a lot of fish. Beautiful summer weather in almost the fourth week of May. And uh, so close, you know, I was gonna leave this morning, but I'm so close to this lake that I'm on now, that how can you go home knowing the Hobie is on the roof when this is right here? That seems like a huge missed opportunity. And I preach it a lot. But my girlfriend, Danielle, really pushes me about missing opportunities not to do it. So, here I am on Lake, yeah, I'm on a lake, Lake X, let's call it. I got my, I got my four weight that I'm trolling right now, why? Because I'm in a Hobie and I'm moving. And if you're moving, you ought to be trolling because you can't catch fish if your line isn't in the water. I think we all know that. So I guess the moral of the story on this one is I would not see all of this. if I just picked up and went home this morning. This isn't about the fish, but just in case, you know, just in case. And this would be a lot harder without this. Sitting around campfire last night after a day of fishing. My last book came up. Not all trout are geniuses. I did not bring it up. I'm not that kind of guy. Hey, did you hear I wrote a book? What'd you think? Nah. All right. Not around a campfire. Somebody else brought it up. And they said they really liked the latest book. But they said that my my uh, my thing, the thing that enables me to write the way I write about what I write about is that I am just like everybody else, the average working person who works a job and then tries to get out and do stuff as much as they can. And I do, it's been hard lately, but the whole deal is Everybody wishes they could be fishing and on these big adventures all the time. Me too. And you just can't be. And neither can I. So I write books about fishing the local creek. Or clocking out at work and running from the car. And hitting some water as fast as I can before the rest of the evening kicks off. And that's my thing. And it hit me. I'd like to keep writing forever about this stuff, and I'd love to find another job that's not in a factory that gets me out to more places like this. I mean, if, if I could be out in this and write about it, that go places and speak about doing stuff like this, how awesome would that be? But then... After that talk around the fire last night, I wouldn't be the guy working in a factory who was trying to escape it all, all the time. Would my writing change? I can't quit my job. That was the worst fire discussion ever. <sighs> who knows? Maybe I still could and just pretend that I'm still working at a factory. For now, I'm working at a factory, and I'm doing this 
every chance I get. And you should be too. I don't think I ever want to be the guy who's writing about. This is kind of a lie. I don't think it would be a great thing for me to become the guy who's writing about traveling to the Bahamas for bonefish and traveling to Alaska for salmon runs and traveling to Labrador for monster brook trout. It, I'd love to write about that stuff, but I think most of us can relate to what I write because I'm writing about how the average person is trying to get through life. Work, family, bills. I got 10 minutes to fish, fish. Work, family, bills. Maybe we can camp this weekend if we really get our ducks in a row. Work, family, bills. All right, you get the picture. That's what I write about. If you wanna read about somebody that you can relate to struggling through the daily grind and doing this as much as possible, reflections of a fly rod, Carper jerks, not all trouser geniuses. Those are my three books so far. And that's what they're all about, life, where a little bit of fishing happens. So this is Sunday, and I took advantage of it. But you know what happens during the week? When you gotta, you gotta. So I'm going to tell you now. Every now and then, call in sick. Go fishing.